Hi everybody and welcome back. So in the previous lab we looked at how we go about creating the volume and we basically created this EBS volume in the previous lab. So you guys can see currently it's in the available state, it's not in use. So once a volume is created it's not automatically attached to an EC2 instance. As you guys saw when we create the EBS volume there is no option. If I were to click on create volume again there is no option in any of these to attach this EBS volume to any specific EC2 instance. So we basically have to create EBS volumes and then after that we have multiple options. So if I were to highlight this EBS volume in the actions I have multiple ac actions that I can take with this EBS volume. I can modify it, I can create a snapshot, delete it, attach it, change the uh, I.O. settings and then add or edit the tags. Right. So once the EBS volume is created I have to physically select it and in the actions I have to attach this volume to certain instances. So when I attach the volume here it gives me the volume ID and here I can attach to an instance and just keep in mind that the instance has to be in the same availability zone as the EBS volume. As you guys can see here it is listed as in US East 1D. So here it's only going to show me the instances that are available in this availability zone because this hard drive is also as you guys can see up here was created in availability zone 1D. So if you can't see instances here or if you can't attach volumes to certain instances uh, first thing to check is to make sure that they are in the same availability zone. So here I would select the instance. Here's the device. So basically the device name for the attachment. It gives you a little note for you know, some of the Linux kernels if you are using it or if you're in a Linux or Windows machine. So it depends you know, which machine you are attaching this volume into. If this is going to be the root volume or if this is not going to be the root volume would depend on the device that's attachment here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on attach. And as you guys can see, the state has changed from available to in use, meaning it is attached. And attachment information source shows up here. So this is where it's attached. So this is the instance ID of my running instance. As you guys can see, this is the same for both. One is the SDA1, which is a root device. And one is the SDF, which is the additional EBS volume, which is attached to this instance. There you go. It is working. It is in use. There's no alarms. So at this point in time, I have two hard drives that are attached to my instance. One is encrypted. One is not encrypted because by default, the root volume is not encrypted. And any additional volumes that we create, we are able to create it. And I've just basically used the standard encryption on this. So that's essentially how you would attach an EBS volume to an instance.